Aminati. Immigrant families will connect with this strongly. I should be a film critic. <laughs> <laughs> This is Cedric's guy, Seti. And I'm Becky. We're back for another episode. And let's get to it. <laughs> Today, we are going to talk about this. And we don't know what it is. <laughs> it looks like a big pile of cilantro. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely like, it's got some herby vibes, mm -hmm. you know? It smells like lettuce. It just smells like a vegetable. It just smells like fresh. Like a green vegetable. Fresh vegetable. That is called minari. Minari. Do you guys know what that is? No. 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 Mm -hmm. So since you guys don't know what it is, you guys can look it up. Okay. It's a onanti javanica. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's referred to as water yeah, celery. Water, yeah, water celery or water dropwort. Yeah, I mean, it kind of looks like spinach as well. Okay, I see, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, the little wrap and then they wrap it around. Probably because it's very tough. See, it's, you could tie it in a knot. And it would <laughs> well, it's an American drama film. It's a drama. It's directed by a Korean director. It's semi-autobiographical on the director's upbringing. Korean American Yi family moves from California into their new plot of land in Arkansas. Rural. In the 1980s. Arkansas. Jacob, I think he's the dad, he hopes to grow Korean produce to sell to vendors in Dallas. Grandmother comes from Korea to watch the kids. So they're hoping to grow Korean produce. I don't think they're selling this. So they're they living in a trailer. Oh my gosh, this would make me cry. Yeah, it seems pretty uh, heartfelt. <laughs> <laughs> so it just seems like a Korean American family that is really just trying to make a life for themselves in America. Mm -hmm. And I would imagine that they're going through a lot of hardship. They that seem like they're, easy. yeah, they're living in a rural town yeah. and also they're living in a trailer so they don't seem to have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure there's an element of struggle in that movie. Wow, I mean, already from the trailer, it feels so layered. I feel like you have the location, which is rural United States. Right. Which already is, is not necessarily, even today, very open, mm. you know, to people who are very different. And then also, it's significant generation gap, right? Because you have the harmony who's coming directly from Korea, then this family, their kid is second gen now. Right. So he's growing up with an American mindset, even though his parents would be first gen Korean, and then meeting the grandmother. And right. it's, everything would be so different than what this little kid would be expecting. I think it's really significant when he says, you're not, you're not a real grandma. Oh. And saying like, what a grandmother should be. I know, I feel very like, ooh, emotional thinking yeah. about that. So the movie is named after this plant. So obviously this right. plant has a bigger role in this movie. So I guess the family, they're using this as a means of their livelihood. No, I think it's symbolic. The title of the movie, Minari, has two meanings. A plant that this family harvests mm -hmm. and immigrants who try to assimilate in America. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, because Minari is, is able to grow pretty much anywhere there's water. Mm. So that's, some, that's symbolic of the family that is pretty much in another place, mm -hmm. but able to grow as a family. Mm. Oh, okay. As I long see. as there's water. Sure. Right? There has to be a sense of hope. Mm -hmm. Some sort of at least little something, and they'll be able to grow. Because right. they're resilient and strong. <gasps> I should be a film critic. <laughs> My mom actually came to the United States in the 1980s and so she had to assimilate to a new culture. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but my harmony actually came to live with us uh, in the 90s. And I remember having those feelings as well that my grandma was so different. I grew to, to love that about her, but I remember just being a little confused as a child, like, oh, like my friends' families are so different. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of similarities there. Yeah, I think the feeling of knowing people's eyes are watching you, because I noticed in the trailer they have when they're in the church, 
-hmm. right? And they, they say, oh, our new family. And they stand up, and they're the only non-white family in the whole community, and everyone's yeah. looking at them. And the little kid, like the little kid was looking at them. You, f you feel those eyes, I think. Because we moved a lot growing up, and we lived in a rural area, also in Alabama at one point. And I remember us being the only non-white family. Mm. And that was, those eyes are really on you. Right. I think that's why this movie, I don't know. I don't know how well it will do with ordinary American audiences, but I think a lot of immigrant families will connect with this strongly. First time. It smells really good. It's kind Let's of see. stringy. I feel like the closest thing is spinach, but it's harder. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not. It doesn't feel dry and crunchy. It's like in between spinach and celery. Celery. Celery has that crunch. But this doesn't. It's not yet to that level. Both are really good. So yeah. distinctively different, but they both have that crunchiness to it. Mm. Okay, so now we're gonna try the jeon. Mm -hmm. Looks like we have the minari and then a red pepper and maybe carrot. How is it? Mm. Good? Mm hmm. It's funny because the minari doesn't have a strong flavor. Right, but I bet you would notice if it was missing. It would definitely mm. taste a lot different. So we ate. Half of the food here, mm -hmm. and I'm feeling quite satisfied. I and could full. eat more. Yeah, so it was really nice to just talk about not only the movie and also the plant, but to go back and think about some of the memories that mm -hmm. we've had in our childhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you resonated with any of those, or you have your own memories, or you've had Minari, or you are looking forward to watching this movie, leave a comment below. We want to hear from you. And make sure you subscribe to CK Zhang TV to get better and more videos similar to this in the future. And we'll see you guys next time in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. It looks like the grandmother's surface is You can't say that's a, that's a, that's a spoiler. Is it? Yeah. It's on, oh. <laughs> okay.